guys so today i am going to make a resin floral bookmark and i am going to tell you the exact steps that i do in order to make the bookmark so let's start before starting the resin artwork make sure to protect yourself by wearing this safety materials this is the eyewear which is i'm going to wear now and these are the nitrile gloves which i will be wearing don't worry i'm going to share all the links of the products and the materials that i used in the description below so please look at the description so now i will wear this now first let's wear these goggles well before ordering this goggles i was pretty worried because i have my spectacles always i can't remove that otherwise i won't be able to see properly so i was worried that whether it will fit or not but just look at it it just fits perfectly uh we even have a respiratory mask but right now i don't have it once i get it i will surely update you with that so yes let's wear this gloves well while buying the gloves please uh, remember that there are different sizes the gloves which i am wearing now are of medium size as you can see these are not the normal latex gloves these are the nitrile gloves so i'm just going to wear them So medium size gloves are perfect for me. The gloves comes in three sizes: small, medium, and large. These are the medium ones. So yeah, now we are ready to start our resin project. So guys, as you can see, these are all the materials that I'm going to use in order to make the resin floral bookmark. There are also few materials that we will be using on day two, like you have tassels and then the sanding paper. in order to give the finishing look well this is the resin bookmark mold which i am going to use then here you have some toothpicks and then ice cream sticks tweezers then a small paper cup you can also use a plastic cup since i am going to make only the bookmark i will be using a small mini cup then you have the blow torch these are the florals that i will be using and then these are some more floral and then you have this gold flakes importantly we have the weighing machine as well as the resin this is 2 is to 1 resin and with resin we have the hardener so now let's start to make the resin bookmark Now first let's start the weighing machine click on the on button and then put the paper cup on top as you can see the weight right now shown is 2 so then first we will reset this so how are we going to reset it click on this button again okay and then click again so as you can see the weight is right now 0 So now we can start pouring the resin. This will help to take proper proportion of the resin and the hardener. No confusion will be there. Okay. So for the bookmark, let's pour the resin. I am going to take a total of, uh, you know, sixty grams. Since this is two is to one, we'll be taking forty grams of resin and twenty grams of hardener. So as you can see, I'm just pouring the resin slowly. After pouring the resin, I'm going to pour the hardener. Since my weighing machine got off in between, the weight right now is 42. So 20 grams of hardener. Well, I should have taken a bigger cup, but okay. Fifty-eight. 
so few more to go 60 and yep that's it as you can see the cup is filled fully uh, please take a bigger cup and now let's mix it you have to mix it very slowly for at least 4 to 5 minutes as you can see the mixture right now is pretty thick since it's winter season it's even thicker than before so you have to mix it unless and until it is transparent okay so mix this properly make sure to scrape all the sides so that no sticky resin will be left as well as scrape the bottom side okay the sides and the bottom scrape it properly and mix it for four to five minutes keep mixing slowly don't hurry at all otherwise the reason won't be mixed properly guys I just shifted my little bit of resin into the other glass since it was way too full so I have mixed it completely now and just look at the consistency now first it was pretty thicker now just look at this it's flowing okay so this is the proper consistency that you need to obtain after mixing the resin so now let's pour the resin into the mold I'm just going to pour this into the mold yeah, look at this I'm going to cover this nicely put at the corners too and cover it fully look at this just a little bit more here and here yep that's it usually to complete the floral bookmark you only need a um, one day but since this is the customized floral bookmark the customer also wanted to add their own name so that's why we are going to add the second layer of reason after putting on the name too so okay this is done let's add the florals I'm going to add this little pink color flower well I guess I'll just use my hands <laughs> and then put it right at the top yep I think it looks pretty nextly I am going to take this leaf here this leaf and put it here I'm just going to fit this with the help of the ice cream stick like this I'm going to submerge it into raisin completely and even this flower oops some raisins spill out of the mold but that's fine just make sure to wipe that later on because otherwise that reason will also cure and then it will ruin the bookmark okay I have submerged this completely I am going to add one more floral I guess this will be fine no this will be too big so let's just move on to some other yeah this leaves right here I'm just going to cut this a little bit and then add it so now let's add this flower right at the bottom again I'm going to submerge it with the help of the ice cream stick just like this I'm also going to add this cute little flowers right here between the gaps like this some more a little bit here <laughs> yep 
like this so this is how it looks so far well lastly i am just going to add a few coal flakes just going to take a toothpick and remove it with the help of toothpick and put it in between the gaps like here and then i'm just going to separate it little by little like this i think gold flakes really add this you know kind of rich look to your resin art so i just love to add gold flakes to my resin art every time i do any resin product it just looks so beautiful don't you think so yeah just look at it we are also going to add some a little bit more here and there going to add some more here sometimes it's really hard to you know separate the gold flakes from the toothpick but you just need to you know kind of spin it spin the toothpick like this in order to separate the gold flakes i'm going to spread it as much as i can yep and i even added some more gold flakes at the bottom of the leaf now i'm going to just you know kind of set this with the help of a toothpick since these are florals they just pop out you know of reason and you will get an uneven layer since they pop out but that's totally fine you know it still looks pretty good and i just shifted this flower here because this piece was looking just so empty so i just shifted it here and added some more cold flakes to give it a complete look I just don't like you know many empty spaces here and there so I just try to cover it up as much as I can So yes I guess this is enough So this is how it looks Let me give you a closer shot So just look at it this is how it looks now all you have to do is let it dry for 12 to 24 hours uh, the curing time totally depends upon the weather conditions and all since it's winter season right now the resin will take more time to cure okay and as you can see i have some more resin left over so all i'm going to do is pour it in some other mold like this always keep a extra mold with yourself in order to you know pour the extra left over resin yep that's enough now the other one i will just pour it here like this you know you can make different kinds of things like keychains pendants with this mold i guess i will just go with pendants for now yeah i'm just filling the molds the remaining ones well for now i will just add florals and this like this
can see I just added flowers to all these molds and this looks good too. There's some more resin left but I will just use it in some other work like I will do a keychain or what. But before doing that first let's pop the bubbles with the help of the blow torch. Right now this is locked. First we will switch this on. Yeah. Okay. And then we will just Yeah. Okay. So while blowing the torch make sure to keep distance and move your hand fastly. Don't wait at one place for a long time otherwise the resin and the mold can get burned. So now just look at this. I can still see some bubbles here. So yeah, they are gone now. So this is how it looks. Now we will just leave it to dry for 12 to 24 hours. So in day one, we just pour the raisin, put some flowers and then it's done. So guys, I have covered this artwork with the help of a box. Make sure to cover yours too in order to avoid it from getting ruined or any dust particles. So yeah, that's it for day one. Hello guys. Now this is day 2. As you can see the raisin is now pretty much cured. Okay. So since raisin is pretty much cured we will first put on this name. As I told you this is a customized bookmark. So I am going to transfer this transparent sticker onto this bookmark. So now we are going to mix our raisin and harden up and pour it on this in order to secure the name. So let's start. We are going to repeat the same procedure again while mixing the raisin and harden up. This time I will be taking total 30 grams that is 20 grams of harden up. Sorry, 20 grams of raisin and 10 grams of hard now since we have to just you know cover it the reason comes to hard now after pouring the reason and hard now into the cup we are going to mix it again so now the resin and the hardener is completely mixed. So now what we are gonna do is we are going to take little by little in this ice cream stick and then we are going to slowly pour this upon the bookmark. Make sure not to pour a lot otherwise it will seep down the mold. We have to just put it like this and spread it with the help of stick. Just keep spreading it like this. Take little by little at one time. So now I have completely covered this with the second layer. Now again we have to wait until this dry for 12 to 24 hours. And then we will just put on the tassel and then our reason bookmark will be ready. So guys as you can see now the reason on the bookmark is completely cured now. Now we are going to demold this. So this is how the bookmark looks. Now all I am gonna do is I am going to put this tassel onto this bookmark. And I am going to just rub the sides little bit with the help of this sanding paper in order to give the finishing look and then our bookmark will be ready. 
so guys this is the final result if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe stay tuned for more such upcoming reason and art related videos thank you so much for your time